Good morning, my friend. How are you doing? Just on the way to the office. Beautiful day here in Las Vegas. Nice, crispy 57 degrees. There's no wind today. It's sunny. And I want to go get on my motorcycle and go for a ride. Wouldn't that be great? No, I'd rather go to the office today. I haven't been there for a while due to the pneumonia, sepsis, and blood clot in my lung kind of knocked me down for a little while. But hey, I got a question for you. And that is, do you use a debit card? So I know you probably have one, but do you use it? Do you use it places other than your bank? See, I think the only place you should ever use a debit card is at your bank when you're pulling cash out, as in at the bank ATM, or when you're depositing money. You know, instead of having to fill out the deposit slip, you can insert your debit card, put in your pen, and away you go, right? Then you don't have to do the the deposit slip. But do we use it other places, gas stations, grocery stores? Uh, Maybe you did some shopping this weekend at the mall. Do you use your debit card to pay bills? Because if you do, you are literally playing Russian roulette with your credit. Because using your debit card can destroy your credit. It can literally push you into bankruptcy. Now, I know that maybe you're thinking that just sounds a little dramatic. Maybe I'm just exaggerating a little bit that using a debit card can push you into bankruptcy. Well, hear me out on this. 67% of all adults in the United States do not pay off their credit cards in full each month. 76% of adults, working adults here in America, 76% according to bankrate.com, bankrate.com, 76% live paycheck to paycheck. 70% or higher, uh, I don't know the exact number on that, have less than $500 in their bank account, their savings account, 500 bucks. How about you? I read another study by bankrate.com and it was like 90% of adults, if needed to, if needed to, could not raise $2,000 if there was an emergency. 90%. Again, go to bankrate.com, you can read these studies. They're pretty fascinating. So let me just ask, what about using credit cards, uh, credit only on a debit card? Yeah, it doesn't matter. See, when you use debit if you use credit on a debit card or you use your debit card as debit card at the grocery stores, when they ask you this, they'll say, hey, credit or debit. The reason they're asking you credit or debit is for them, not for you. See, when you run it as a debit card, they're only paying 20, 30 cents for that transaction. If you run it as a credit card, Visa or MasterCard, you know they could pay anywhere from 2 to 5% to swipe it as a credit card versus 20, 30 cents if it's run as debit card. So when they ask you that, it's not for you. It's for them to save money. The other problem with that is when you use it as a debit card, you're no longer protected by Visa or MasterCard because you didn't run it as a Visa credit card, you ran it as a Visa debit card, therefore you're no longer protected. And with debit cards, what a lot of people don't realize is when you swipe that debit card and someone skims that card, like it's happened to me a couple times, it's happened, I'm sure it's happened to you, I know you know somebody other than me that it's happened to. When they skim it, you now have to prove to the bank that the charges were fraudulent. You have to prove it. When you use a credit card, a real credit card, not a debit card, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, when you have a fraudulent charge on a credit card, the merchant has to prove it was legitimate. 
But when you use a debit card, you have to prove it was fraudulent. And they can literally hold on to your money for months. I know somebody, they held their money for three months. I'll give you another example. I had to do a chargeback earlier uh, last year. So I was going to say earlier this year, but it's already 2018. Took me almost five months to get my money back. Five months. And I used it on a Capital One Visa card. Took me five months. It was eight grand. Can you go five months without $8,000 in your checking account? I think not. Because 76% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. And I know there's a couple of you watching this right now. You're living paycheck to paycheck. Can you go two, three months without any money? I don't think you probably can. Most people can't. So when you use your debit card, when I say that using a debit card can destroy your credit, when using a debit card can force you into bankruptcy, what I'm getting at is this, that if you use the debit card and someone skims it and someone hacks it and they take all the money out of your checking account and it takes your bank a couple months to get that money back to you, what are you going to do? How are you going to pay rent? How are you going to pay for your car bill? Because I know, I know for a fact, if you had a choice, if you were going to pay rent late, pay your car late, not buy groceries, or not pay a credit card, I know what you would do. I know, the, I know right now what I would do. The credit card is the last on the list. I got to have a house to live in. I got to have a car to get to work. And I got to have food to survive. But I don't have to pay the credit card. So if you're short $1,000 because you used your debit card at a gas station and it got scammed and now you go to pay your rent <coughs> and there's $1,000 missing and you go to your bank and they're like, hey, we'll, we'll help you, but it's going to take us a couple weeks to get this money back. What are you going to do? You going to pay your rent? Yeah. You going to pay your car payment? Yes. You going to buy groceries? Yes. But you're not going to pay your your credit cards. You, you're missing $1,000. Something has to give, right? Something has to go without being paid, and it's going to be your credit card. And this is why FICO put so much weight on credit cards. I'm smiling here because my Gmail account is blowing up right now. Grant Cardone is sending me email after email. I bet I've gotten 13, 14. There come another one from Grant. I don't know what he's doing, but they're popping up on my inbox. But using your debit card anywhere outside of the bank can ruin your quest, your credit. There's another Grant Cardone email. Come on, Grant. Using that debit card can destroy your credit. And the reason it can destroy your credit is because it takes, it can take weeks to months to get your money back from a scam. 76% of Americans are paycheck to paycheck. Maybe that's you. So can you go two weeks without any money? Can you go four weeks? Can you go six weeks? Can you? I, I don't think you probably can. I want you to be able to. But if... If your answer to that question is no, I cannot go more than two weeks without any money in my checking account. I can't go two weeks without a paycheck. If the answer is no, that you can't, my friend, you have to stop using your debit card because you're literally putting your checking account, your credit, your livelihood, your job, you're putting everything at risk. I know that sounds dramatic, but you are. Because if you didn't have any money for several weeks, what are you going to do? Right? So stop using your debit card. In fact, I don't even think you should carry it. I don't carry mine. I don't even know where the hell it is, to be honest with you. It's probably in my safe. I probably put it there with the rest of the credit cards. But stop using debit cards with the exception of going to the bank. All right? Because there's a chance there is a high chance 
that someday it's going to hurt you. And how I got on this topic today was I received a text message this morning around 6 o'clock this morning. One of my clients, checking accounts overdrawn by $2,000. And there was a charge that went through that wasn't supposed to go through. What's she going to do now? Can she pay her mortgage? Can she pay her car payment? $2,000. $1,980 to be exact. That wasn't supposed to go through on that account. Now there's no money in there to pay bills. All because of a mistake. And it wasn't fraud. This was just a mistake. But it's going to take seven days for that mistake to be corrected. So if that was you, the first week of the month, rent's due, and you're missing $1,980 from your checking account, what are you going to do, my friend? So don't take extra chances. Don't gamble with your checking account. Don't gamble with your finances and your credit over convenience of using the debit card. Instead, use your credit cards for gas, groceries, clothing. Use your credit card and then use your checking account to pay the credit card off in full just like you would have with the debit card, right? Because I know there's some of you using the debit cards because you don't trust yourself. You know you won't pay it off in full. You know that you'll be like except the 67% of Americans that don't pay off their credit cards in full every month, that are making the banks richer than all times. I mean, they're so stinking wealthy right now, and it's because 67% of Americans aren't paying off their credit cards. That's why the banks keep getting richer and richer and richer is because people are not paying off their cards in full. They're financing their Taco Bell. They're financing their Starbucks. They're financing their electric bill. And it's a shame. But who's in control of that? You. You're in control of that. So stop using your debit card. Start using credit cards. Use your checking account to pay off the credit cards in full every month and if you start little just with those little things it'll make all the difference in the world i hope i hope you got a lot a lot out of this today i look forward to seeing you later have a good day